Hi there, welcome along guys. This is the Heavy Metal Berserker channel. My name's Dan and you are watching a bit of a different review today. Now, I've got to explain, you might have seen the thumbnail and gone, hang on a minute. Heavy Metal channel, Gothic Punk. But hey, there's a reason, right? Bear with me. Um, I'm really kind of doing this review for my fiance because she doesn't know I'm doing this. So hopefully she watches it and uh, listens to this album because it is fucking right up her street. And I must admit, I've not stopped bloody listening to this. <laughs> so, hey, it's... It's like winter. This is a gothic punk album. It goes with each other. And my missus is going to love it. So anyway. And I hope you do too, to be honest. Because it is a great fun time album. It could almost be a Fuck It Friday record, to be honest. Um, but I'm doing something else for Fuck It Friday. So I'm just going to give this a review. quick review. That, well, quick. I've got quite a lot wrote down here. But anyway. So, let's get into it. The band are called Creeper. This is their third full-length album. They were formed in Southampton, the UK, in 2014. Um, they're on the Spine Farm label. And the album is called Sanguivore. Now, this is... A record which, when you say the words together, they wear like their influences on their sleeve. When you say certain things together, you'll think, what the fuck? But it works, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so this is spooky punk. There's like a dark humour throughout it as well. As I've just said, they wear their influences on their sleeve. Now, if you put Meatloaf and the Ramones in one sentence, you'll probably think, what? But it bloody works. Um, Mis Misfits? Bon Jovi, anyone? David Bowie? It works, guys. Trust me on this. Stay with me. Uh, I've wrote, this should not work, but it does. This is the vocal hook album. So what I mean by that is you'll listen to this album once and you'll know, especially the choruses and pre-choruses and stuff, they're bloody earworms, guys. Um, they, some people will compare this to Ghost. Um, okay, you can do that if you want. I hear a lot more in here. Uh, than Ghost, but anyway, um, there's a punk attitude to the album, so again, that's not Ghost, is it? Uh, this album sounds fucking huge, the production's brilliant, all the tracks are a bit different, style-wise, but it all sounds like Creeper, the vocals are awesome, the guy sings like hardcore aggressive punk, he does softy ballads, he does like croony, like Nick Cave style singing as well. Spoken word stuff. He's an awesome singer, guys. So for the songs, Further Than Forever is the first song on the track. Now, this is a bloody rock opera, guys, to start off the album. It's nine minutes long. Now, it doesn't feel like nine minutes, though, because it keeps you... Just entertained and you'll be, stay with me guys, <laughs> you'll be, it's very theatrical, like I say it's a rock opera and you'll definitely get meatloaf from this. Um, it's just a huge sounding rock opera theatrical track that you will get meatloaf from, but it's bloody enjoyable, guys. It's a good time. Cry to Heaven, which I think was the first single off the album. 
There's like a creepy choir to start. Uh, believe it or not, this sounds like a gothic Bon Jovi, guys. It's just an enjoyable track. The chorus, the 80s vibes on this album are superb. The chorus on it is just, oh, it's just so earwormy. You'll be singing it all fucking day, honestly. Um, and it's just like an 80s vibe behind it. And, oh, mate, it's brilliant. Um, and the chorus is like a Sisters of Mercy situation, so you get that gothic type chorus. Teenage Sacrifice. Teenage Sacrifice. Again, an 80s vibe all over this one. Great lyrics in the verse. Great guitar licks. Awesome pre-chorus. A sing-along chorus. It just rocks, guys. It's just 80s tinged, gothic, punky stuff that just rocks. So, I don't know. Think Stranger Things, Lost Boys, things like that. That vibe's there. Uh, Black Heaven is a brilliant song. There's Bowie on this one, I can hear. The synth on this track, the synths on the entire album are superb. The, the atmosphere they create is superb. Um, this song is like a dark synth wave from the early 80s. Just like, it's so good. Um, think 80s new romantic type stuff with a joy division type situation. That, oh, it's brilliant. It's such a track. And then there's uh, the ballad of Spook and Mercy, which is the fourth song in the album. I should have spoke about it earlier. I didn't. Shoot me. And uh, this is just like a Nick Cave, mega low brooding ballad. Probably shouldn't have been the fourth song. Maybe in the middle somewhere. But anyway, that's my only gripe with this album. It's a superb album. If this album doesn't make them big, I don't know what fucking will, guys. So, a score, it is 4.5 out of 5. Just that, that croony ballad kind of stopped it where I wanted it to go up and it didn't, it went down. So, a 0.5 off for that. But otherwise... A totally enjoyable album. Go and check out Creeper. Sangivore. That's my review, guys. A bit different for me. But hey, it's only a quick video. It's over fucking eight minutes. Anyway, right. See you soon, guys. Nearly the end of the week. Keep your heads banging. See you soon.